Good morning, Valtopia. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. I'm walking over to, I left my bike over at a friend's house, so I'm walking over to get my bike. And I, I was walking and I had some thoughts on my mind. And I thought, ooh, let's do a Frankly Friday. Let's do a Frankly Friday and just connect. Hi, Angela, with my people watching. And, you know, every day I come on, especially lately, with really powerful messages about what I'm offering because my work is amazing and I love the results my clients are having. And you want to get to know me. I'm a single mom. I have two kids. I built this business out of the worst trauma you can imagine. And now I'm having an amazing experience. So I thought, well, let me come on and keep it real. Hey, Allison. Hey, Lara. So join me on my walk in my neighborhood this morning. And let's talk about things frankly. Huh? And if you have any questions for me, go ahead, even if you're watching the replay. Um, I've got everything to share and nothing to hide. And all I ever want from sharing what I do is to ignite your inspiration and let you know that you're a fucking badass too. And we can all do what we want to do, right? So say a good morning to me. I was thinking this morning about, um, you know, there's so much great upheaval kind of happening in everywhere it doesn't feel great at the time right disruption is always disruptive <laughs> and it kicks off our nervous system and all this but what I see happening in our business as entrepreneurs and coaches is a lot of um, actually I'm gonna cross over is a lot of uh, examination of the way we've been operating our our businesses and how we've been connecting with our clients and all of these things and um, I want to talk about it because I have a very specific angle on it since I've invested a lot of my own time and money in different types of resources to help me grow beyond where I was in a really stuck place in my life. And I wanted, I wanted freedom for myself. I wanted time. I wanted money. I wanted to feel happy and safe in my life. And I, and I, I had to move through so many barriers to get to that place, even after I was free. And what happens to many of us that start our own online businesses where we've transformed our life and now we're like so excited and we're like oh I can help others with this amazing truth of life and how can I do this properly and so we come online and we invest in support and we um, and we watch others who have done it before us and what we do is we start to think that we have to do it like the other people right and we also are listening to what's out there and the truth is, for many of us who have gone through a serious life upheaval and are creating our own method of healing, and you're not going to do it like anybody else. And so, because we've been through difficulty, and, and most of my clients have been through trauma, people-pleasing, victim mindset, and they're very caring and loving and amazing, and so there can be so much shame, guilt, fear that gets activated in this process of defining yourself as a guide, as a leader, as a, as a free style entrepreneur in this new economy that we're all creating and being. And what happens is when we first come out on the scene, we are often attracted to guides who are really disruptive. And we need that. We need that impetus to get out of our just bad marriage or screwed up situation. Most of my clients have had to really go through a lot of upheaval to create the kind of change in their life that they needed. And so I think everyone needs to pay attention to who you're paying attention to because some of us aren't just doing this. I mean, most of us are ha have some sort of need to provide for our families and create a change in our life economically. And many of us have come into this place because we don't have a choice. This isn't just like, oh, I should be happy with what I have and be humble and, and settle into this miserable experience I'm having. No, it was like, oh my gosh, I'm alive. I have kids. I want my, the best for my kids and me and my partner that's, we're not happy. I want everybody to shift out of this bad situation. And we do it and we're inspired, divinely inspired. And then there's so much upheaval along the way and so much guilt and shame that can happen long after we've made the transition long after we're out of the situation and we've started our businesses and we're doing okay we still haven't let go of all the drama and trauma that we actually went through and endured and we bring that with us and it affects 
our relationships and our business and our life and everything. So, um, whew, I just want to be open about this because I think that a lot of us um, hide it behind the scenes. And so here we are. We made it way past this horrible situation in our life. We pulled our head out of our ass. We stood the fuck up. We started making money. We started helping other people. And yet we're sitting here feeling isolated, shamed, upset. Like even though we're way past the point. And that lingering unresolution of everything we've been through and the pain it caused us and kind of where it left us versus the person we'd become causes a split in our energy and causes a split in our results of what we're intending in our life. And so it's so exciting to me to know that many of us are creating techniques of integration and embodiment, meaning that past version of you has to die and be integrated into who you are now. And there's so many ways to do that. And we're all different. So if you find yourself following someone and, and it's not working for you, don't be mad at them and don't be mad at yourself. Find what works. Because we're all different. We're all standing up and giving our medicine. And our medicine may work for certain parts and certain things and not for others. Do you feel me on this? Hey Beth, how are you? Yeah, so that's my Frankly Friday for today. Does anybody have any questions or comments? <laughs> um, I think that, I think there's a lot of whew, the old paradigm affecting our critique and evaluation of the new paradigm we're shifting into. And really, I think we should just be so grateful to the forefront, forefront leaders of this business that we now get to tap into who had to do it their way. And now you do it your way. And don't have any shame. Don't be looking over your shoulder. Well, they're doing it this way, so that must work. Tune in to the depth of your wisdom and brilliance and creativity and bring it. Bring it. Don't be bagging on other people because their method didn't work for you. You're not them. Only frequency, babe. <laughs> so... Yeah, letting the old go. Well, we're definitely being supported with the high vibrational Schumann resonance happening and all these frequencies coming through to shift us. So, um, I think I want to come on often with Frankly Friday and share the truth of my experience behind the scenes. Um, so if there's something, if you watch the playback and you're like, you know what, I would really like to know more about this, Val, I'll consider answering you on my next version episode <laughs> frankly friday <laughs> okay hi wendy hey allison i know allison we've been through we, we we got to talk about it intimately i miss you too i want you to come back in um but i think you know everything that we can do to own our choices our awareness and to feel love and respect not only for ourselves but others helps to boost up the flow of energy and creation. Let it be. Don't get stuck in anger and resentment towards others who are just trying to do their thing. Do your thing. Take care of your business. Honor yourself and others and own your frequency supernova. There's nobody like you. I'll probably come back on later um, for the glow up and to share more about what's going on with Keisha, my amazing client and my Celebrate client. So let me know if you want to be tagged when I come on. I'll try to remember. <laughs> And um, I'll see you on the next stream. Go to valtopia.com and apply for the glow up. There's two spots left. And I'm about to do an amazing event. And that will book it out. So if you want to get in before that event, do it. See you next time.